Hey, what's up guys, Luke Prophet. So you might be thinking to yourself, what is a price monitor, a price tracker, a repricer, something like that? Uh, if you click on this video, that's probably the question you're trying to have answered. It's basically a piece of software that's going to automatically um, look at the supplier price of your item, right? So let's say that this item is 20 bucks, right? You can buy this water bottle from Home Depot for 20 bucks. Not a very good deal where I pretend it is, you know, it's follow through the example, right? Uh, so this is 20 bucks on Home Depot. And then you're gonna say, okay, I can drop ship this item. I'm gonna list it on Amazon or eBay or Shopify or whatever else. You list it over here for 30 bucks. So customer buys the water bottle from you, gives you the money, and then you use that money to buy this for 20 bucks and have it sent to you know the basic drop shipping business model, right? Well, what happens if you say, okay, I can get this for 20 bucks, so I'm gonna list it for 30 over here and then the customer buys it, and then you go to buy this and have it shipped to the customer, but the price of this item, this is now 50 bucks. It's not 10 bucks, it's 50 bucks, right? That's a problem. So, uh, 10 bucks, is that the right number? I think that's the right number, yeah. So that's basically where uh, price monitor, price tracker, repricer kind of thing comes in. So basically, instead of you just, you know, manually checking the price and then setting it here, what's, what a repricer does is it automatically, uh, and you know, different ones will do different things. The best repricer for Amazon dropshipping is Reprice Hub. Reprice Hub's awesome. Uh, and it will basically come here and say, okay, this item, right? This item costs 10 bucks, and then it'll update your price on Amazon. So whenever this price changes, say it goes up to 11 bucks, it'll say, oh, the price changed here. And then it'll up your price on Amazon, you know, based on the settings that you gave it and stuff like that. So even if this, go, if this goes $10, $11, $50, $3, if the price is changing around here, a couple, t like every, you know, two or three times an hour, Reprice Hub is checking the price on this and then shooting it over, boop right over here to Amazon. So that means that you're never gonna really sell an item and have the price from the supplier be wildly different than you know what you were intending to sell it for. That's basically what a price monitor does. It checks the supplier price of the item and then whenever it changes, it updates it on the website that you're selling it on so you're never selling at a loss or anything like that. Now, on some platforms, this doesn't matter. So for like example, if you were selling on uh, Shopify or something like that, not that big of a deal because if you end up selling it as a loss, you can just, instead of, instead of, you know, ordering it, you get the order, right? Instead of shipping this item, which costs more and you lose money on doing that, you can just say, oh, hey, sorry, this item wasn't available, cancel the order, refund the buyer, and bam, you kind of solved your problem there. So for some places like uh, Shopify, things like that, you don't actually need uh, price monitoring software uh, in most cases. I mean, I'm sure there would be some cases where maybe you don't, you don't want to can cancel orders, you want a better customer experience, something like that. Uh, so, you know, there could be reasons for using price monitoring software with, Shopify or something like that. Um, and then with eBay, it's 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 a lot more helpful because you don't want to cancel too many orders on eBay. Um, but also eBay is a lot more lenient and does let you cancel orders and things like that. So it's not like you can get by without price monitoring software on eBay if you want. It's just not the smartest decision. Um, especially when, you know, stuff is like you're selling thousands of items and something goes out of stock and you know, it, it can just, you know, cause problems and you can have a lot of upset buyers and things like that on eBay. But with Amazon dropshipping, which is what, like I said this video is specifically about you have to have a price monitoring program because if you don't have price monitoring software it's uh it's, it's gonna be it's gonna cause a lot of problems for you because with Amazon, you can't cancel orders, right? Um, you you can, but it's gonna mess up your metrics. Like you you can cancel very, 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 very few orders on Amazon. So usually if you sell something and the price has gone up a couple bucks and you're gonna lose five or 10 bucks on shipping something to the, the customer, you gotta just do it. You gotta say, oh, well, I'm making a lot of money on all of my other listings. You know, it, it sucks that this price is up a little bit and I'm losing money on the sale, but I'm not going to cancel it because if I cancel it, it's going to look bad on my metrics and I don't want my metrics to, you know, mess up my account and me, end up with me getting suspended because then I'll lose my ability to sell. I'd rather lose 10 bucks on this one sale and keep my ability to sell on Amazon than to, you know, potentially risk getting my whole account suspended uh, just to try to save 10 bucks. So with Amazon, it really pays for itself to have price monitoring software because price monitoring software is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's always going to keep you from having those issues. You may still have it occasionally, but with, like I said, Reprice Hub, the best price monitoring software for Amazon dropshipping, you're, 
you're really not gonna have issues that often because they're checking multiple times an hour. I forget exactly how often it is, but it's like two, three, four times an hour, something like that. So the chance of, you know, a 10 minutes change and the price going way up and then not someone buying it in that wind, it's, it's pretty unlikely. They're gonna catch it very quickly and then automatically update your Amazon account so you don't have issues. So that's a pretty good overview of what uh, price tracking, price monitoring, repricing software is. Um, some of them, like for example, uh, web seller guru um, and stuff like that, sometimes they'll break it up and so a repricer will be sort of competitive repricing in Amazon among, uh, like it'll, it'll sort of look at the other seller's prices and then say, oh, well, they're pricing here, but we can still be profitable and dropping your price, you know, a little bit. So that's, that's sort of the, um, one of the repricing aspects of it. And then the whole other thing is, is getting the price from the supplier and updating it. So some will break it up like Web Seller Guru, uh, which is sort of an older, one of the first Amazon drop shipping uh, you know, repricers that was out there. Um, Definitely not the best option nowadays, but you know, still very useful, very good piece of software for its time. Um, and it would pretty much do the first half of doing the repricing, but then you'd have to use another website called inform.co and kind of link them together. So you need to use this piece and this piece and pay for both of them and then link them together kind of. And then through that whole thing, you could get the sort of streamlined getting the prices from the supplier making sure they're changed, updating your Amazon account and competitively like repricing. But that um, that's kind of a pain, of course, and that's like the old way of doing it. And nowadays you've got great software just like Reprice Hub, which will automatically do all of that all in one piece of software. Um, you know, it's great, totally recommend it. And if you wanna sign up for that, I'll put a link down there in the description with 30% off for your first month. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and hit that up if you want. It's very good, very useful. Um, if you're looking for eBay drop shipping software, Yabbly is a great one and I'll put a link down there as well. Um, and yeah. I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. That's what price tracking is, price monitoring, and um, yeah. Well guys, that's it for the video. If you're new to drop shipping on Amazon and you're trying to figure out how to get started, I've got a full free set of training videos down there, link in the description. It goes over everything you need to know to get started drop shipping on Amazon. And Amazon's great because compared to other platforms, it's actually super easy to get sales with very few listings because there are so many more buyers on Amazon and so many few sellers that you're competing with compared to other platforms like eBay. If you've got any questions about anything drop shipping related, feel free to hit me up on Facebook. I'll put a link down there as well as a link to a group that I started that has hundreds of other drop shippers in it that you can join. I post new content on this channel every few days so go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifications and I'll be back with another video in a couple days.